Hello everyone, welcome to Boats, as in Boat Builders. Yeah, today we'll be learning how to design a sliding window. So let's get to it already. As usual, I always like to come to my, to start with my front view. Front view, I always like starting with my front view. Pardon me, that's how I want it. Anytime, so that whatever thing I'm doing, when I come to the front, it's on front, when I come on top, it's on top. So please, it is good to learn that habit. So, secondly, let us go to our windows, come to windows here, come to model info. I always like using decimal, in other words, I like to use millimeters, millimeters, and then I'll go to this, no decimal just millimeter point no point on it so let's go what we do we come to our this and then we come to our rectangular tool click our rectangular tool and then we draw no not giving me what i want okay let's move it like this no. Oh. Right, let's go to top. And then if we go to top, we'll do like this. With our rectangular tool, which will be able to give us this. Then if we come to our this, it's still like this. So what do we do? Let's try another method. Because I want it to be standing up. So we are in our front view. Get your rectangular tool, get your tape. Draw like this, it will not catch. So, what do you do? What do you do? If you get your tape, you place it here, it will catch, right? Okay, so you see, it catches. So, what do I do? I get my four by four window. Actually, I'm gonna do four by four windows, you know, four feet by four feet. So, what you do is you type four. As you have drawn your tape, you type four, then you click, you type, then you then. So what's next? We will come to this place, click on this, and also type four fit four. Then click on single quotes. Click on single quote. Let's go. Let's zoom this so that we'll be able to get it closer. SketchUp, like I used to say all the time, is a very wide environment that can contain whatsoever thing you want to design. You want to design the whole United States of America? And SketchUp, I bet you, if you can get the size, SketchUp will give it here. The whole earth, SketchUp will give it here. So let's take this, let's take, uh, I just picked on a rectangular tool and then, and I click, and then I have what I want. See that? Simple. So instead of you dancing and battling with your, with this, with your a rectangular tool, if it can come, to, if it's standing, if it's lying down, just use your tape and get what you want to do. Then the next thing is, I want us to change this face to white. Now, by default, it comes this face like this, this color, and then the back is white. If I want to change this now, I can say reverse face, it will turn white. But the other side will still be this color. So what we do, we come to our color here, choose the color you want. Then I want to paint it white for now, depending on whatsoever other color we decided to choose to use it. Now, this is what we are going to be working with. Yes, this is our window. This is what we are going to be working with. So, what do we do now? Let me see. Uh, we move this. We make this first. Let me move it a bit like this. Uh -huh. Now, what we are going to do now is double click and make it group first. 
double click and make it group then next thing is we double click and go inside inside the group so what do we do we pick our offset tool we say offset offset this and give us um how many how many how many how many okay the frame let's say frame should be let's say two feet 15 millimeters give us two feet yes so we have this two feet 15 millimeters will give us two feet so what we do again we say double click this and make it a group so that the frame will stand alone next is the window itself so we come into this place and then since it is going to be two windows we would say when you pick your line tool you come to any of these places it will show you when you follow any line like if i follow this line now show me this is the center of this line if i follow this line now this is the center of this line this is it it will tell you middle 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 and group middle of the line in the group so this one the middle of the line of this now will be this so we draw and we'll come down and then and then we we will we will and then what we do we make each of this a group so we'll click make a group so we'll click make a group now we have frame window window now let's go to the frame we double click on the wind of the film we go inside so now we are inside so what we do now we pick our pull tool and then we say pull pull to at least 17 millimeters yes 17 millimeters okay because we're going to be having this so we'll say Okay, let's keep it that way for the for the now. Yeah, let's just keep it on 17 millimeters so that we'll be able to know what we're gonna do. So what what I'm gonna do? We we'll now move this thing, this one. We we'll, we'll, we'll move. So now let's go to one side of the window. So we'll click, go inside, and then say pull to. 35 divide it into 2 35 is giving us one side and then go to the other side double click go inside and pull to 35 also 35 millimeters and then there we have it then what do we do now this one now we'll move this one side to I click on move tool, I click on this edge, I draw it to this place, while the other one is on the other side. Then, but then if I'm sliding, remember that I have to have this 35 here and then the other side 35 also. So what we do, we say, we come into this one and we say give us 35 divided by 2 is 17.5. So I'll say 17.5 millimeters good then what do we do the other side we go to the other side also and say give us 17.5 millimeters also so that we'll be able to have 17.5 millimeters also so that 17.5 millimeter plus 17.5 millimeter will give us 17 uh, 30, 30 right yeah so 17.5 millimeters so now there we have it all right so so that when I'm sliding here I'll have 30 now, what next? The next thing is, there should be a rail <coughs> in a casement window. There should be a rail in a casement window. So how do we get that rail? First of all, we'll do this. First of all, before we talk about the rail, 
let's say if we slide also we still have we still have to move into the, the into the uh, <coughs> into the frame with at least one inch outside the other side move into the frame with at least one inch so what we do we also come here now click on this window also click on it and say give us 25 inches also again uh, 25 oh sorry one inch which is 25 millimeters so now we have gotten that so what do we do now now we would say to this to this frame itself frame we need at least um two millimeters that's okay for us yes two millimeters so now what we do is this we will go inside this then we we'll say hide this one for us and if possible this one too so we we'll select what i did is just i just selected this so i just selected one wing of the window and then selected the second wing of the window i say and then and i click and i say hide and then it goes so that it will give us room to be able to play around here so what are we going to do now what we are going to do now here is this we have two millimeter this is a bit technical so you have to follow me with patience this is two millimeter right from two millimeters we have 35 millimeters which is the size of the which is the the, the length i mean yes the, the 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 width of the of the of the one of the windows no, we are going to divide it into two to have the center now 35 that is going to give us 35 divided by 2 will give us 17.5 then we have the center so if we have the center let's say 2 give us 2 here because we need 4 4 millimeters give us another 2 this side so that we have 2 millimeters so that we have 4 millimeters from here to here will give us 4 millimeters so what do we do we come into this place to the frame and we say first and foremost we say um, from here to here 35 millimeters 35 millimeters so and we have also 35 millimeters here that, oh, sorry we have two inches here so we're gonna say this pick your this place it here and then let's move up a bit to the edge so that we get where the window will be falling into yes the window will have to be when it slides it clips so this is what i want so what do you do you click on this and you say move for one inch 25 millimeters yes so that when the window comes slides in and then the other side the same thing we did here we have to do it to the other side as well so we we'll come here we we'll say the we'll loss equally say two millimeters 35 millimeters so that there won't be confusion 35 millimeters yes so get your rectangle tool and then me have to go have to take it to We 
Well, I arrived at this so quick because what I did was I just clicked on this previous camera. Actually, uh, I don't want to go too much on explaining this, but for you, what I did is I clicked on this place. If you click on this place, it will bring you back to the previous camera where the camera was focusing on before you move to the next phase. Before I mean, before you move to the next side. So, what we do, we move one inches. Now we have gotten this. The next thing is what our rail. Now we need our rail now. And remember, we said we need seventeen point five in order to get the center. And we say we need two, and we need two, which will give us four millimeters. So. We'll move this like this so that I will get our rail. So, and then that is it. And what do we do? Give us, say, at least five millimeters here. That'll be okay. Six, five millimeters is okay. This one also. I think this one I've got in this one already. Yeah, I see. Yeah. So this one I've got in this one already. So so what do we do? We so give us if what I'm doing is confusing. You can use line two to get it. Equally use light to, to get what I'm doing. So five. Yeah. Now we have gotten our rail. Okay. So what's next? Let's bring our Windows back now they are like this already so what we do now is that we will click on this on this window click on move to and then say move this thing 25 25 millimeter backward and then the other one too we go to this side we say move this one also 25 millimeter backward okay <coughs> I see how it works it, it is now now This one is inside, as you can see, but this one is not. You know why? Because we will not expand this one to at least two, two, two millimeters so that it will click inside. So, what we are going to do is this will say, just click here and say, move the frame to at least two. Limiters final, then, then we have it. Then we have it. So, so now, what next? The window itself need to move inside the frame. I seen it so just take your line tool click on this place just follow it follow it and then follow it am I in the right place no 
Yes. So now, yeah, inside now. So we'll do this, do this, do this, and then we'll do this, and then we we'll also come to this place as well. And do the same here. And do the same here. Sorry, this is dancing around. Yeah, it's, it's normal. It's normal. Just have to. So what do we do here now? We'll also do this. This, this, and then this. Okay, so let us go out, out, hide our frame so that we'll be able to push, push through. So let's know the size. 577 is the size so that we don't need to worry ourselves much when pushing. So, what do we do? 577. So, pick on a push tool and say push. Okay, sorry. Right. Go inside. Go inside and say push this 577. Just type 577. Click enter and it goes to 577 and create the rail itself. I seen it? Good. So let's come to the other side as well. The other side as well and do the same thing. So let's come inside of this one. I said, I said push 577. Push 577, click enter, and there you go. I see it? Good. So, what next? Bring back our frame. So, unhide our frame now, and then this is what we have. This is what we have now. Yeah, this is what we have now. Can you see that? Good. So that if we move this now, if we say move this now, it moves along the rail. Good. Now let's go and create our glass. Yes, our glass now is what we are going to create now. So, how do we do that? I'm going to be doing it in such a way that you will understand it better. So, what do we do now? Come into this one, come inside, and then go to this. You know where we are? Offset. Thank you. Offset is 30 millimeters to get the frame. You understand? To get the frame. So, what do we do now? Push. Push out. Just remove this. 35 millimeters. You understand? You can see through now, right? Good. What next? Go to line uh, rectangular tool and then bring this, bring it back, cover it again. Okay. It's not okay. Let's see, let's see. It's still there. Okay. Uh -huh. Good. Have to be accurate. If not, you'll be picking a different line. I just clicked on pan and then it will bring me back. It will allow me now. It has covered again. So, what we do, click on this one we just created now. Then we click and then say make group. That's going to be our glass. Then, what we do next? The first thing we do next is go and paint it. With glass, there is a paint, there's glass paint. So if you come to our color, you see 
glass and mirror just what is called glass and mirror where are you good glass and mirror so let's pick this one translucent glass blue paint it bam you get it so what are we going to do next next is we need to pull glass has a, depending on the kind of depending on the size of your glass this time we'll just say five millimeter size five millimeter size we pull five millimeter then what do we do again we click on this no? go back a bit yes so that you'll be able to then and use your move tool and then take it to the right position it's not on the right position yet so what do we do bring it here is it now good now the next thing is we need to move this to the center so what do we do you click and take it back to the center which is not giving me what i want so we have 35 and the glass is five so what we do is you remove 5 plus 35 you mean 30 divide the 30 by 2 to give you 15 so you just move it by 15 millimeters and it's on the center now good so this is one side of the glass can you see that good so now what are we going to do the other side of the glass i seen it so that means we have to replicate the same thing we have done here on the other side of the glass but to save us all the stress what we are going to do now is we are just going to copy this one and replace it to the other one so to do that first we need to know the position what's the position of this one where is the line what's the position so we would say the position is here so what i'll do the simplest way you do is use your measuring tape measuring tool tape measuring tool and say this if you draw like this it has given you the line exactly where it is click on this this very one and delete it okay now this is it I see where it is so what are we going to do now what we are going to do now is that we're going to click on this very one that we want to copy hmm? click on move tool hold it here then click it at this edge hold your control control key, key in your keyboard and then it will copy and it will come to this place exactly this place and drop it now we have it too i see so what do you do what do you do now you have to slide it to the other side okay so to do that remember we have this size to be 577 this the length of this very side of this window is 577 so what you do is you click on move tool click on this place and say move on red line to 577 577 bam and then you have it there you have it there you have a sliding window then we have our sliding window. Let me delete this. A tape. A tape. A tape. Yes. So here is our. Here is our sliding window. Awesome, right? Yeah. It is our sliding window. So, let's slide it.
data say come in here and then move on the red line see this that is it that is it so our next class will be how to make a casemate window because of our time on this very video how to make casemate window and then after which we'll make door and after which i would want to make this an interactive system such that you no longer used to use you will not longer be using move tool to open it all you need to do is click on a button known as interactive and then when you click it slides left right left right in case of in case we do it opens outward inward in case of door the same thing so please that is the reason why i'm begging you to please and please like our channel like our channel Paul builders enterprise like it click on the notification also so that whenever we come up with other awesome and fabulous design it will be able youtube will be able to notify you that we've brought it on thank you for watching and have you see you in our next video